there are people um, who get pulled over by police and, and, and a, a, a casual viewer, a, a, a reasonable person might say, why would you run from police if you're not doing anything? Why would you struggle with police if you're not doing anything? Except there are a whole bunch of people in this country and around the world who say getting caught by police might be the end of them. Certainly might result in, in charges that, that they shouldn't face. But, you know, what, what do you say to people who say, why do you run? So I want to be clear because we've seen so many of these and they're so difficult to look at that we often miss the details of it. I don't want to be too in the weeds when we have the broader conversation, but as they're telling him to get on his belly, yep. get lie flat, one officer is holding his right arm while the other one is twisting the left arm in the other direction. Right. He would have had to struggle out of the grip of the officers in order to lie flat. He was complying as much as his 140 pound body could against five grown men who were trained to engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He was then tased, right? It hurt because tasers hurt and his body twitched. In that twitching, you can see the twitching gets him out of the officer's grasp. And he realizes that the thing that's hurting him is in his clothes. If he takes it off, he can stop hurting. And so he runs away from the pain and the people who literally might be trying to murder him there on the ground. If you think that that is an unreasonable set of things to do, I'm sorry, I don't care about your opinion because you are an unreasonable person. He ran from people who were, by the way, all of them infinitely less calm than he was, infinitely less reasonable in that situation and, and mellow and, and with his wits about than he was in that moment. And he ran away from them because he feared they might murder him. When they caught up with him, they held him by the arms, they punched him, they beat him, they batoned him, they cursed him. And then while he was lying near unconscious up against the squad car, they lied about him. What you guys have not shown yet and what is available on the Memphis Police Department website is they're saying, oh, he had the gun of the officer. He was reaching for it and he had it good. He beat us. He was so strong. He was 140 pounds. Right. They lied to him there in part. And this is where I will go ahead and end this part of me trying to keep it together in part because the officer with the baton turned away as the other officers were beating him. He literally moved the body camera so that that wouldn't be caught on tape. This was an incredibly brutal, deliberate response to them being out of shape, for them having pepper sprayed themselves in the face like the Keystone cops, but far deadlier. This was the worst version of contempt of cop. And so when you see people running from the police, they imagine, as this individual did, that you can get killed because a cop is bad at their job, they get angry, and they want to kill you in response. We have videotape evidence of exactly that. That is what we watched. And if you see the nearly hours worth of footage yep. they have from four different angles on that website, that is exactly what you will see.